The next chapter is in regards to covering the sins of our fellow Muslim brothers and sisters as well as the prohibition of spreading uh, another person's sin or even one's own sin to let other people know of another person sinning or to even let other, let, let other people know of your own sinning so, Babun fi satri awrat al Muslimin, and Nahi wa an isha atiha li gayri daruratin. For a person to spread another person's sin or his transgression for something it's, it's, not, it's not necessary for him to do so, then in, in uh, how, this chapter is in regards to how that is prohibited. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Nur very clearly, Inna al-Ladin yuhibbuna an tashi al fahisha tu fil ladina amanu. Verily, those people who love. To spread fahisha, spread indecency, or spread a uh, evil news, or spread uh, negative comments. Filladina amanu. In regards to those people who believe, so those people who love to spread news about Muslims in regards to their sins, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "Lahum adabun alimun fi dunya wal akhirah." For them, there is severe punishment in this world as well as in the hereafter. So they have double punishment, not only here in the hereafter, but in the dunya as well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that they will have a punishment. Um, the first hadith reported by Abu Hurair radiallahu uh, he said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لا يستر عبد عبدا في الدنيا إلا ستره الله يوم القيامة رواه مسلم That for every person, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Every slave of Allah that covers the sins of another slave of Allah. Every slave of Allah that covers the <coughs> sins of any other slave of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cover his sins on the day of Qiyamah. So if we know of a, someone that commits a particular sin, on your own you can advise him in secrecy. If you, need, if you think you are not able to advise him, then tell someone that is able to advise him. Uh, that's on its own. But as long as you don't go and you spread news about it, and this is something that our uh, car, our nafs likes to do. It's a juicy conversation when you sit down and you tell somebody, hey, you know what I saw that person doing? You know where I saw this uh, such and such person? When uh, someone says that, everyone in the group says, hey, who'd you see? What were they doing? And it's shaitan puts it in us that we want to hear the sins of another person. Oh, I saw this person walking by the, the coming out of the liquor store. I saw this person doing such and such. I saw this person with such and such in the mall alone. Shaitan puts it in our, in our hearts, in our desires. When someone says something like that, we love to jump on it. We pounce on it. And then once we pounce on it, when we listen to it, it gives us joy. It gives us delight. Wow, I know this person committed such and such a sin. And we feel like we're some big F FBI investigator. When we see that person on the outside, he looks like a good person. We're thinking inside, I know who you really are. Right? That's, th that's what shaitan does. He puts it inside us. It's a really nice conversation when you sit and talk about other people's sins. So the Prophet ﷺ said, If you become the person that knows some certain particular sin of another person, and you hide it, on the day of Qiyamah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hide your sins. And... Uh, while we were studying this hadith, one of our teachers made uh, his, his explanation of the hadith was that not only will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hide it on the day of Qiyamah, but it's an indication that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive that sin on the day of Qiyamah. The fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is hiding your sins, it isn't that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is only hiding you from embarrassment and then still going to punish you. No, it's an indication that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is hiding your sins, indication that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive your sins on the day of Qiyamah. So the next time we hear something juicy about someone who said something, did something, saw them somewhere, was wearing this, was listening to that, was eating this, was drinking that, instead of spreading the news for evil reasons, yeah, maybe you can tell one person that can go advise him, maybe tell his father, maybe tell the imam, maybe tell some elder in the community, hey look, I know you're good friends with this person, maybe you should go talk to him, I saw him doing this and this. See, so that's for a good intention. But if you do it for an evil intention, when you're sitting amongst you know, just normal family and saying, 
I saw this person doing such and such, that we know in our hearts, we can ask our hearts whether we're doing it for good or we're doing it for bad. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to purify our hearts from this sin. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to hide our sins in this dunya and forgive our sins in the hereafter. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us all jannah for those without reckoning. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik.